What's good everyone? I hope you're having well I hope you had a fantastic day I'm recording this pretty much a few minutes past midnight. Uh this video I'm bringing you the Porsche Cayman 2015 and a few road racing events class S100. Oh wait, S1. Why am I saying S100? So the first two races I'm going to show you to be honest, I struggled a bit. The car is lovely. Don't get me wrong, I love this car. I love the way it looks. I'm a huge Porsche fan. Like when I was going through the auto show, I was thinking to myself like maybe I should just get Porsches for every category, you know. Get one for S100, get one for like A class, get one for B class maybe. But then I was like, you know what, nah, I'm just going to stick to this because like I really like the Porsche. I know I used to use the Cayman in, the, in Forza Horizon 4. So I was like, why not stick with this one for Forza Horizon 5? Um, the first mistake that you're going to see is this one. I kind of was a bit late when it came to my braking and I hit into that wall. Utter shambles. Complete shambles. But luckily for me, the guy behind me gave me a nice speed boost. He saw me struggling and was like, you know what? You struggled enough, my brother. Let me carry you on to the finish line. Unfortunately, he wasn't providing me any more bumps after that. Instead, he was giving me a challenge. These races that I was like, that I had like just a few minutes ago with the Porsche and this one, and in another video, Lamborghini, like you would see the front three being all clean and courteous, you know, saying excuse me and after you. Except for these two, they were having like a dog fight on the road, and I was like, okay. Give me the space, give me the chance, let me slide in. But unfortunately, because of my own errors and mistakes, I wasn't able to capitalize on that. When it comes to playing this game, it's like 90% speed, 5% luck, and the other 5% is hoping that other people are fighting each other so that they don't come and fight you. You want to be the person with the camera recording the fight and not jumping into things, and when things get heated, you run away or you seize the opportunity to just smack someone across the face and knock them out. Obviously, I'm not saying I'm gonna smack someone on this game. I was getting smacked all across the road and all across the fences, as you can see. But my god, was I hoping that someone in front would just be like, you know, just a little nudge into a tree, like off the bridge. I really wanna do that to someone, just like if they're shoving me and we're coming across the bridge, I'm just gonna like shove back and then like turn my camera and see their like car turning into like Apollo 13 or something flying straight to the moon just like BOOM I really want that to happen but unfortunately that didn't happen in this race I just maintained my fourth position a nice strong sturdy position this car by no means is it average like it's one of the top tier cars I've only used it for like three races like the races that I did tonight but I do believe that it's quite a strong car. If you like had a list of like the top 50 cars to use for like S1 racing, this would probably be around that 20th, 21st, 23rd margin, you know? I don't know why I skipped 22nd, that was the clear logical one. But yeah, someone's doing a, a burnout, clearly the victory person. This was really a strong lineup of contenders. The person in first place, I saw him again, or saw her, or saw them. Um, and the next series that we did is still S1 road racing, but instead of like actual like sprint races, it was more enclosed circuit races. And we struggled, we struggled together. We held hands and just like weathered the storm and told each other, hey, no matter what position we come in, I'm still gonna clap your cheek. And we had a competition between the two of us. Well, it wasn't a competition. At some point, I was crashing my Lamborghini. My $2 million Lamborghini, you know, parked in the five-car garage. No, no need to be disrespecting Dr. Disrespect. But, you know, sometimes when the Lambo is just like matte green, you gotta like just take it out for a little spin against other competition and lose. I'm pretty sure Doc doesn't lose, but I lost incredibly. But that's not this video. That's a different video. Uh, what's gonna happen in the second race? Oh my god, I didn't even realize how long this video is gonna be. If you're still here, if you're still listening, if you're still sticking around, thank you. Before the next race, like, I'm just gonna check in. How are you doing? How's your life going? Any plans that you've made throughout the year coming to fruition? If they haven't, if you feel like those plans are slowly withering away, don't give up. Things take time. And if things don't work out, that means you just have to go back, revisit what made that thing not work out, identify the problems, think of solutions, 
at the same time you have to remind yourself certain things you don't have to go through by yourself sharing with someone else's was a viable option in terms of like trying to move on to bigger things success comes in many different ways and forms my people it's up to you to decide how you want to reach it I don't know why I'm getting all inspirational I just want to make sure that y'all are okay y'all are doing good I'm trying my best to improve the quality of my videos I'm going day by day recording my mistakes my errors I've always had this mentality that if I'm gonna record and put something on YouTube it has to be something absolutely perfect like I have to be coming in first all the time but then I realize I'm not gonna come first all the time and if that happens that means I'm not gonna be having a lot of videos to post on YouTube and if that happens that means when people eventually hopefully maybe one day start enjoying my content I'll be limiting them and myself to content where I only deem as perfect on a high standard instead of that why not just show you me show you my good days and my bad days this for me wasn't a good day or a bad day it was more like what a day <laughs> Because there were moments I'll pull like ridiculous moves and be like, oh, I just did that. And then there were moments I'll be like, oh, I just did that. In anger, like why? One problem I always have or face compared to like other drivers is like, I don't exactly follow the braking line that I have, like just like in the corners and all of that. But like when I do, I follow it in moments where you don't need to brake. And then when I don't, I follow a moment where you absolutely need to be like smashing your foot down so that your car can stop. And then I hit into the wall. It's like one of those things where like that split second moment where you need to make a decision on what to do on the best course of action. I immediately just like glitch out of my mind. I'm not taking a test. Why am I doing that? Anyway, um, the car right behind me, I think it's a Lamborghini. That, that car was ruthless ruthless at some point in this race i think like no actually it wasn't in this race it wasn't the next one and i'll I'll, co I'll come back to that the minute i see it again but like as you can see like obviously when you're going in corners people like to cut so like you're gonna be getting a lot of bumps behind you people are gonna be wanting to just like give you a little love tap to like make you stay on your toes to, make, to keep you awake to like remind you hey hey we're still in the race don't be sleeping don't be comfortable the McLaren was a good contender there were some moments where they were like breaking late and going into like you know the fields going out for a bit of like sightseeing trying to milk the cows I don't know maybe herd some sheep but at the same time like along the straights every time I thought I was gaining distance between the two of us in the corners as you just saw he probably had better breaks than myself or was just more aware and capable of breaking this is now me just like absolutely berating myself for not breaking when I should be breaking but like yeah everyone in this race was a good driver I thoroughly enjoyed it that's why sometimes you see me spamming like you know what a race what a thrill I wish there were more prompts like I wish you could make your own prompts like obviously if you can make your own prompts I am pretty sure there will be some nasty ones out there you can't drive go back to Forza Horizon 3 Oh, over here, like, I nearly made a mistake. That little, like, wall, that's a killer. I've seen so many people, like, slide into that wall when they were, like, in first or second position and absolutely, like, just lose everything just because they, they're breaking too late and hitting into that wall. That nearly happened to me. But fortunately enough, the McLaren saw me nearly hit that wall and it was like, Jesus Christ, this man needs salvation. I simply cannot let him give up his third position. So what I'm gonna do is nearly hit into the wall and then pretend like I nearly did and just bump him, shove him, unknowingly. But I knew, I knew that he was looking out for me. I knew that he cared for me. So I was like, hey, I appreciate it. After the race, I did message him, but I messaged him. I contacted him spiritually, like deep in my heart. I was like, person, I don't know you. You don't know me, but you just did me a great service. And for that, I will see you in the next race and I will beat you thoroughly if by any chance you're the person driving the mclaren and you're watching this video thank you you helped you helped a lot it was a tight race for fourth and third
second and first those those flew away I, fo- I forgot about them i was like nah i'm not even gonna think about that but third i was like i'm gonna secure this position you gotta secure whatever you can in this game now this this was a good race there were moments where i took the lead or me no did i ever take the lead in this race i'm not quite sure but like the battle for second and third was like so intense from the get-go the porsche has a great like launch its launch is so amazing i haven't tried i haven't had the chance to like try other cars in the game you know i'm kind of low on credits how do people get so many credits that's really i know that there have been glitches and exploitations being posted on youtube and stuff like that but like my gosh how do people get so many credits when like the activities and the races like if you do all of them the most that i've ever gotten from just doing playing racing without wheel spins and all of that i think the most i ever got was like 15 million and like sometimes your screen tells you like total earnings and i'm like okay let's look at the total earnings versus what i have you're telling me that like throughout the three four weeks that this game has been out i have about 25 30 mil in total earnings but right now in my bank i've got six million who am i gonna blame for that then i realized oh wait the only person to blame is myself oh so i was right i did have the lead for a certain point but then you know the braking this lamborghini like for no reason at all like it's just the two of us we're like leading the pack by a long shot why are you coming and shoving me to the side wait for the opportunity you clearly have the advantage in a straight line going downhill you're clearly building up more speed than myself you clearly have more power so why does why do you have to be shoving me why do you have to be touching me like that there's no reason to do that come on mate i swear i feel like these were the exact words that i said in that moment because i was just boggled i was just like yo why you are clearly faster than me so why do you have to do this and nearly shove me and yourself off the road and give someone else a chance like if you hadn't done that we'll be racing nice and fine out of like throwing another perfect race this is racing let's get our blood pumping you know we're still in the springtime of our youth let's go but no he just decides i'm going to annoy you and make sure that you quit the game in a frustrating manner I didn't quit the game. I quit the game in the next round when I was using the Lamborghini for circuit racing. Another example of late braking. That was the person who was winning the other sprint races. But in this one, I guess, I guess they just fumbled at the end. You know, a nice clean cinematic finish. Anyway, my time's up, y'all. I hope y'all have a great tomorrow. And uh, 